Cribbage. I like. I love the game of cribbage, uh, but I've never had my own board, uh, so I decided I'm going to make one. So the first thing I need to start with is the pegs, and that's why I'm calling this from pegs to playing. Um, you need to know what size hole you want and the spacing in order for this to work. So I made these uh, four pegs as a trial run. Then I'm going to make another set. Uh, you only need two, but it's always good to have a couple extra. To say I've become obsessed with this would be putting it mildly. What I'm trying to do here is instead of drilling into a the end of a dowel, which gave me kind of mixed results with the way the bit would drift, um, it, it, it ended up fine, but I had to go through many more um, repetitions to get what I really wanted, which was a good looking peg. With this I'm going to try a different method. I'm going to drill my eighth inch hole first then I'm going to use a plug cutter and come back. I've got a three eighths and I've got a quarter inch. Two different style quarter inch here. Um, these, these two here. This is a taper. This has got a taper on it which is okay. And then uh, so does this three eighths. But I, what I found with a 3 8 dowel is I basically uh, sanded most of that off. If I can get away with a quarter inch, it would be much more efficient. So I'm going to try that first. So what I want to do here is drill my hole up in increments of um, half inch, or no, three quarters of an inch with this, uh, with this setup. Try it, try it first and then, and then maybe come back and do 3 8 if this uh, doesn't work out. The beauty of this is that I'm drilling through the plies in this direction. Um, it kind of gave me a cool looking peg I think. And it, it should be much more stable with, with uh, cutting it out. So here goes. All right, uh, last time I told you I thought I was using a quarter inch, and it wasn't, it's a three eighths, but I'm kind of stuck with that one because that's the only plug cutter I've got that can go full depth. But this time I did not drill all the way through. And I think that's gonna help. Plus, I've sanded this now to get a nice fit, but still room for glue. So I'm, I'm gonna put glue inside of here just a little tiny bit and uh, see how that works. Put some on here as well.
little tight yet. That's a good fit. All right, let's turn this one and see what we get. All right, these turned out beautiful. Um, what I'm gonna do is take three of them and stain them. The other three, I'm gonna just put a super glue finish on these, and then I'll super glue these as well once the stain sets up. So I'll have dark ones and natural colored ones. I also did a little taper on the ends of these. They're all cut to the same length. I think they'll be fine with my 5 16 inch spacing. These are a little tight. I'll go check that before I get carried away here, but really nice looking, really nice looking pegs.